Welcome to the Multimedia Police Team Brown in the former show. As part of Spectre training, or whatever these guys are called, they can't use Spectre because of that lawsuit. Oh, really? Yeah, like we talked about, um... Sorry, I had to shoot that guy. We talked <laughs> about, um... Never Say Never Again, right? Mm. That James Bond movie that wasn't a James Bond it's movie. Time to talk was. about it. Okay. So we were just talking off camera how that movie exists and we don't know why. We're still off camera. But go <laughs> Oh. I thought we were oh, off I, microphone. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's radio. Um what was I talking? Uh, uh my train Never of say five. never again. Right. That was a movie. Uh Sean Connery was in it. It was a Thunderball remake that was made not by the official Bond people, and uh, I guess the reason why was because <laughs> <laughs> someday we'll get to the topic. Um, I feel like that's already making you, it's like expressing how you feel about this movie. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, but at the same time, no, I don't. Um, I think parts of it are. Anyway, uh, some guy, I forget his name, I think it was like Kevin something or something Kevinson. <laughs> Sued Some the production Lee. company for the rest of Thunderball and won. I don't remember why he won. I just remember he did. So he won the rest to make his own version of Thunderball, which he did. Called it Never Say Never Again. Uh, I guess getting Connery was the only reason it really got made, like, officially. And it's so crazy. Yeah. So it's, just so, it's so weird. But they Was he called James Bond in the movie? Yeah. They used a 007... Their own 007 logo. All the characters had the same names. Um, they do the da 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 No, they got their own weird theme song. They're like, you can have the plot back again, but you can't have Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I forget who they got. I think they got, like, a pop star to Engelbert do Engelbert Humperdinck or something? <laughs> let's see, uh... Let's see who it was. The poor man's Tom Jones. <laughs> Please release me. Let me go. Um, Speaking of go, where do I go? Are we still on the second frickin' level? Mm, yep. I did not mean to channel Dr. Evil when I said frickin' by the way. <laughs> do we... <laughs> I can't even do it now that you said it. Ooh, Ma Max von, von Sydow. That's always a guy that you're gonna come in, like, throw in for a movie. Who? Max von Sydow. Oh, like a Dr. Seuss character? <laughs> he was uh, one of the priests in uh, The Exorcist. Oh. Ken with The Exorcist. Wow. Yeah, um, I was gonna say. What are the odds? Oh my god, he's in everything. He was, uh... I, I've lost, the. Uh, <laughs> my train of thought. What here. are we looking up again? We're looking up who sang the Never Say Never song. Oh, right. Uh, and also, what was the Never Say Never song? <laughs> it was like, Never, never say never again. Wait, was, was that the Never Say Never? That's on it, right? Because the Bee Gees have a song from the early 70s called Never Say Never Again. It was a woman singing it. So or, I wonder if that was. But like, then again, I thought Tiny Tim was a woman at first. So I don't know. <laughs> Don't begin the sun fight. I was nine, you know, I didn't. Uh, huh? Ah! Lottie Hall, is that her name? Yeah. I honestly do not know. The wife of Herb Alpert. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that movie, uh, everything about that is so bizarre. Directed by Irving Kirshner, who went on to direct Empire Strikes Back and uh, <clears throat> Robocop 2. Whoa. What a diverse portfolio he's got there. I know. Very diverse. Robocop 3, which is the movie that killed Fred Decker's career. Luckily, he's back now. He's, he's working on the new Runner? Predator. Uh, he directed Monster Squad. Okay. Oh, Decker was the character in Blade Runner. Yes. Yeah. Or Becker. No, that was a guy. That was Ted Danson. Are you thinking of Boris Becker, the tennis player? Or? Wait a minute. What movie are we talking about again? Oh, yeah. That's right. Much with Love, I think. Spies Like Us. That's it. Oh, right. Spies Dan like Aykroyd and Chevy Chase at their finest. Also a theme song done by Paul McCartney. Really? Yeah, it's not one of his finer efforts. Yeah, I think Live and Let Die was his last final good, final, final good effort. <laughs> good I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not a solo Beatle fan. I actually like a lot of his albums that have come out in the last 10, 15 years. Okay, maybe I should give him a shot. Some of his uh, stuff in the 80s was good, but like, and late 90s is when he started turning it around again. Okay, so maybe I just don't know enough. I'm like, well, you know, you just don't know, man. Ooh, you just don't know. You're just not really, maybe just not really a true Beatles fan, like I thought you were. As I drink from your Beatles cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I could easily easily be posed. I was a huge Beatles fan in college, not so much anymore though. Oh, I love, I still love them. I'll say that right now. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I like some of their, I still like some of their stuff. I'm just kind of like. Um, how about that for a revelation newsflash? People like Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles? <laughs> but like ironically, right? Because they're like. Beatles. Yeah, John Lennon's kind of a jerk. <laughs> that Pete Best guy. I just gotta, I just gotta say, John Lennon, kind of a jerk. <laughs> yeah, he wrote Imagine, which is all about world, world peace, but yeah, he also beat his wives, and he also wrote hate music, too, so let's not <laughs> overlook that fact. I always thought Imagine was going to get used in a commercial, and the first line was going to be, Imagine low, low prices. <laughs> supposedly, well, not supposedly, I've seen it on video, but, well, I guess supposedly, because it's the internet. Herman Cain, who ran for president at some point, oh, yeah. did a cover of Imagine, but it's about his pizza chain. Godfather's Pizza. That's that the name it? of his pizza. But yeah, he was like, imagine there's no pizza. Oh my god, kill me. Look it up. Um, look it up. So you, do you know Eventually. why I know about Not Godfather? now, watch our video before yeah. you look it up. I'm throwing it over there. Um, so you know why I know about Godfather's pizza? No. Because they mentioned it in the Goonies. That makes sense. Because uh, Chunk, which, you know, is, let me just mm -hmm. say it right now, the fat character. Whoa! Of course his name is Chunk, and <laughs> everything he talks about has to be about food. <laughs> I'll get on that rant later. Um... <laughs> But, like, they talk about this thing where he's like, oh, you know, there's a car chase, bullet holes the size of monster balls. That's, he says that later. But um, they're like, he's like, yeah, like, oh, there's something amazing. It's, like, more amazing than the time Michael Jackson asked to use your bathroom, which kind of is creepy in retrospect. But uh, the other one is more, uh, more incredible than the time you ate your weight in Godfather's Pizza. Well, and that was a line in the movie. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but it's funny. I mean, I, mean, I just assumed it was a fake food, like, pizza chain in the movie. So, even back then, Herman Cain's Godfather's Pizza. And then when he ran for president, I'm like, it's the pizza from the Goonies. <laughs> so, there's my Godfather's Pizza. I've known about it my whole life and wish I didn't. <laughs> well, he's no real estate tycoon. I don't know if he has what it takes. <laughs> so, this part was in the movie, right? Where there's like a hedge maze and they... The whole hedge maze thing was a fake bond to test... The woman has rant. droopy dog cheeks. Is that like <laughs> in real life, too? <laughs> Going down soon. You gotta, hide, you gotta assassinate James Bond. <laughs> that's gonna give me away as the intro voice, but that's fine. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta love, like, when characters like this in a game are trying to seduce each other. <laughs> it's just, like, a lot of, like, twisting heads very creepily <laughs> and, like... Oh, yeah. Air money, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on that note, I'm going into your kitchen for a second. <laughs> Boil some water. All right, I'm going to go talk to Money Penny and see what she has to say. <laughs> that voice is going to haunt me. <laughs> oh, Money Penny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. It, it, it kind of sounds like, uh, I don't know. It almost sounds like Vincent Price with a mouthful of marbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Money Penny. Let me tell you the secret of the world. <laughs> James. All right, I'm going to go talk to Bernard Lee. Why did you just sound like B. Arthur saying that? <laughs> oh, I don't geez. know. That's my 60s woman seductress <laughs> voice. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at this. Back when people were grinding up cigarettes and putting it in their <laughs> morning cereal. Yeah. They didn't have Jimmy's back there for their donuts and ice cream to do cigarette butts. <laughs> I meant to say ashes, but butt sounds funnier. <laughs> butts. <laughs> Get it? Chester Fields. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is he? I'm just ducking over and over. Let's turn into a Peter Gabriel video for a second. Who is that guy in the background? Who are you talking to, anyway? What's going Sam. on here? That's oh, that's him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Ah! Voted sexiest video game character <laughs> 15 straight years. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> great just one time the camera hits him in the face. <laughs> like, mm. All right, where's that door? All right. So you just have to like wander around for a while. Oh God, you gotta go get a Q briefing, yep. which also sounds you're gross. Hovering again, James. James, James. You're, hover <laughs> you're hovering, James. Mmm. <laughs> And then they have a shitty joke about computers. Uh, it's so funny, even in 2005, it's not overused yet. <clears throat> Sorry. That's my tea boils. The <laughs> water that turns into tea. 
Can I go on my thing? So don't get me wrong. Yeah, I like I like the Austin Powers movies. Yes, especially the first one. Uh, obviously, they keep dipping in quality as time goes on. Right. Do you ever notice that Mike Myers, like, like the main thrust of his humor, is like old playground jokes? What? Like where he said, where he, like the fart in the hot tub happens. He says, "Excuse me for being rude. It wasn't me. It was my food." He does that whole rhyme. And, like, there's, like, all these little jokes in the Austin Powers movies that are just, like, basically him repeating, like, schoolyard things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Kinda. I'll find some examples of it. <laughs> but, like, it just happens so much in those movies. We'll review that, too. Yeah. <laughs> all three of them. So I guess I have a rope. But. It's a bad rope. You know, I'm not going to find examples. Those of you out there who know what I'm talking about, you figure it out on your own. <gasps> Desmond Llewellyn. There he is. Clipboard and all. Llewellyn, I guess, not Llewellyn. Oh, grow up, W. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Yeah. He's playing with a little toy helicopter. It's going to be like that part in Robocop where they have the robot and they can't turn it off and it still shoots the guy. Or it blows up. Oh, I guess that happened there. Ah, uh, he said it. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, grow up, 007. God, yours must be better than mine. <laughs> I just know this game a lot better. Speaking of ears, look at Sean Connery's ears. 007, you're such a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> that insult I'm particularly proud of. <laughs> I like John Cleese's cue. That was fun. Yeah, I agree with that. You know who could have made a good Bond villain, speaking of John Cleese? John just, Cleese? Well, that, yes. But, like, also off the beaten path and related to John Cleese, Michael Palin. Yeah, he was, I, he was a good bad guy in Brazil. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. And I think um, Eric Idle will be a hilarious sidekick for a Bond villain. It's also funny because Jonathan Price was the bad guy in uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, right? Or The World Is Not Enough. Whichever one's about the newspaper guy. Yeah, Tomorrow Never Dies. That was Jonathan Price from Brazil. Was it really? Yeah. I see it. I think it. I'm getting all those late Bronson ones. <laughs> Brosnan. Yeah, we're not talking about <laughs> no, Charles, Charles Bronson. Bronson. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> Oh, good, good God. All right, so that, I think that's probably your T, right? And I just want to ask, why am I doing a training level three levels into the game? That is a good question. Thanks. I'm glad you asked. All right, I'll just shoot these stupid robots. Shout out that to my favorite... Shout out to my favorite band, the Stupid Robots. Live in Rhode Island or Massachusetts or wherever they're playing next week. I don't know where they are right now. Stupid Robots, if you're watching, I miss you. We get them to do a song for a video. That would be good. Once we do like a video about stupid robots, which I'm sure we'll do at some point. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know any good games about stupid robots? Uh, we think about that. Okay. Our only thing is I'll shoot these stupid robots. Shout out to the stupid robots again. Uh, okay, I think by the time this mission's over, I'll be done with training. Now that I'll be four levels in or whatever. And can I... I guess I can't use keypads, I have to shoot them. I'll let you do it. Okay, so here we go. This is what everybody's been waiting for. Right? Rank the bonds. Oh, shoot. Are you asking me to, or...? Yeah, that's you first. Okay, well, like I said... It helps me if he goes first. <laughs> This one's my favorite, so for Mushroom with Love, number one for me. I mean, uh, the actual Bonds. Oh, like the, um... Like the fellows in the suits. Okay. Uh... Imagine there's no pizza 